we were only gone for a week and like it basically took one day to get there and one day to get back so we really only had like five days to explore Dublin so let me tell you what we did um, we did a walking tour of Dublin we saw Grafton Street we um, visited the Temple Bar District um, our hotel was near there what's the name of that park we went into in Merriam Square Park. There are a lot of pretty parks there. Again, like the plants seem really green and vibrant. The flowers are so colorful. So I really enjoy those. Walking through those. And then we had dinner together and then um, fell immediately to eat his job bag. Next day, we were supposed to do um, an industry engagement session. That didn't quite work out, so instead we went to the Epic Museum, which I really liked. Yeah. So the Epic Museum is about like Irish immigrants to other places away from Ireland, so like people who went from Ireland to America and Canada and you know, all over the world. So that was cool. Talked about like the history of Ireland, the reasons people have for leaving. Um, famous people with Irish heritage in, from other countries. Okay. After that we visited DCU, Dublin College University. Um, we talked about sustainability. They are doing some smart things about sustainability that I would love to see in the US for. Um, like more compostable material and less plastic, that type of thing. On Friday, a lot of our group went up to Northern Ireland to see Giant's Causeway, but that was going to be a thing that had a lot of walking, so we stayed in Dublin. That was the day we were hoping to go to Newgrange, that did not work out. So, to explain why, originally I thought, well, we'll just join like the tour that picks you up in downtown Dublin and takes you there. And I contacted that tour and they did have like a bus going that day. It had room for us, but the bus had steps and no bar to grab onto and like river steep stuff. So we decided, well, that's not going to work. So I'm like, oh, we'll just rent a car. Like I'm a little scared of driving on the left, but it's not that far away. It's like an hour drive from Dublin, um, an hour north of Dublin. It won't be too busy, I think we'll be okay. So, like a week before we were gonna leave, I got an Enterprises website to charge reserve the car, and it like showed me that the price should be like 40, 50, maybe $60, depending on the car, but like all the car types I chose, it said it was added, and I thought their system was broken. Their system is not broken. They really were out of cars. So, um, you know how there's like a car shortage because of like the whole microchip shortage and supply chain issues and like it's true in the US too, but like it's even more true in Ireland because they have to import their cars. So like if you think it's bad here, it's really bad there. So yes, Enterprise really was out of cars. So when I called them after we got there, it turned out that no, it's a love start list, right? They're just out of everything. So I tried other websites. And like all the like legit websites, like I tried Avis, Hertz, whatever, they were all out of cars. There was a website where I just searched everything and it could find a car for us for like a thousand dollars for one day and like really when it should be like fifty dollars for one day. So we did not rent a car and go to Newgrange. So we will have to go back to Ireland again someday. We took a good wheelchair taxi on Friday. So we took that out to the museum here near Parliament Square. We saw the Museum of Archaeology um, with a friend of ours from Iowa, actually. And we visited the National Library, which is a beautiful building. We didn't get to see that much of it, though, because most of it's for like, people who have library cards. But they had a section we could see about main leaves. And then we went to the National Galleries, which is an amazing art museum, a lot of beautiful art. 